bringing you the news and information you need from the people making a difference. This is Comcast Newsmakers. San Jose's holiday treat. This is Christmas in the Park in downtown San Jose, an exhibit for thousands and thousands of people to come and visit every year. Hi, everybody. I'm Maggie Skura. Welcome back to Comcast Newsmakers, visiting at Christmas in the Park, as many of you will uh, as well. Our guest for the next few moments it represents an organization that uh, everybody in this area is familiar with. Her name is Kathy Jackson. She's CEO of Second Harvest Food Bank of Santa Clara and San Mateo counties. Welcome, Kathy, it's great to have you here. Well, thank you so much for including me. And I say that everybody is familiar with this organization in one way or another, either through uh, their own volunteer efforts, their own contributions, their company's efforts, uh, or they know someone who has benefited. I think that's absolutely true. Uh, the, I think the name recognition for Second Harvest is incredibly high, and it's because we literally are serving almost a quarter of a million hungry people here in Silicon Valley. In the, one of the most wealthy areas, not just of the nation, but of the world, I think people are astounded at how many people find themselves needing to come to the food bank to actually get food. And we like to remind people that the way Second Harvest operates is perhaps not what uh, you might expect. Is it, you don't get the, the lines of people coming in for exactly. their baskets, but you provide it, them. Exactly, we're more of a food reservoir or a food wholesaler. We collect the food, we buy food, and then we distribute that food through an absolute network of 326 agencies up and down the peninsula. One thing that a lot of people don't know is that we are one of only three food banks in the country that do not charge for the food that we distribute. We don't charge the hungry people, we don't charge the agencies. We, our feeling is that they should focus on what they do best, whether that's job training, or providing shelter, mm -hmm. or doing children's programs, we'll provide the food. So if there's a, a local neighborhood food pantry or agency that distributes food and other things, probably have a relationship with Second Harvest. So just to just to let you know that they are they are everywhere. I know that you have launched your annual drive. It's a, this year it's the Holiday Food and Fund Drive. That's right. Uh, this year's Holiday Food and Fund Drive launched at the beginning of November. Uh, we believe it's the largest such drive in the nation. Uh, we're aiming to raise $11 million and collect 1.7 million pounds of food. So I'm sure you'll see our barrels up and down the peninsula. They're in pretty much every corporate building, library, front of grocery stores. Uh, and they say, uh, give what matters, and what matters is food. I know that you like cash donations, but I know that with the barrels, you, uh, you really encourage gifts of food as well. It's true, both are really important. The food provides a really important source of variety for us to provide to our clients, uh, and we, we value that tremendously, but there's no question, it's the cash that enables us to continue our operations year-round. And that's an important point. While I think right now, hunger is front of mind for a lot of people, people are thinking about the holidays, they're thinking about community, wanting to give back. The fact of the matter is that people are hungry 365 yes. days a year, and the money that we raise now will enable us to continue our operations year-round. Mm -hmm. And uh, you have, it's, it's not magic exactly, but you have a way of making those cash donations go much farther than an individual could going to the store with it. It's absolutely true. Every dollar that's donated to us allows us to provide two nutritious meals to people in need. Think about how you would ever manage to do that yourself with 50 cents to provide a meal. Uh, but the other thing is, one way people can see that kind of viscerally is if they go to our website and we have a virtual shopping experience. They can okay. literally, it's like being on Amazon.com. They can literally point and click and see how much their dollars will buy if they try to spend them versus how much their dollars will buy if we try to spend them. All right, and that is good information for you folks. It's the uh, Second Harvest Food Bank. Go to their website and all that information is available. Thank you and good luck with your drive this Thank year. Thank you so much. And all year round, Kathy we Jackson. Appreciate it. That's it for now on Comcast Newsmakers. I'm Maggie Skewer, we'll see you next time.